Hello my friends. It is another week. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and I'm going to have breakfast. I'm very excited because if you saw last week I switched things up a little bit but I am back with my usual tofu egg salad on toast and y'all know if you've been around the channel for some time you know that I always have that. But I am going to show you the bread that I'm using today. It is the Miche sourdough from Wegmans. So I don't know if you've ever been to Wegmans or if you have a Wegmans near you, but anytime that I go to any of the Wegmans that I've ever been to, they always have a huge bakery section and you can see a bunch of bakers just making bread constantly all day long. So their bread is really good. I love their bread, it's super fresh. And the Miche sourdough, hits the spot, especially for breakfast. I've been thinking all things aside what I just said about Wegmans, obviously, you know, like do what you can, but I kind of don't like the fact that I keep buying so much bread in these single use plastics and, and whatnot. And so I, I'm considering going back to making my own bread. I used to do this at the apartment and then when we moved over to the house, I completely stopped doing it because there was just so much things going on with the house and stuff, but I feel like I buy so much bread that it would make a good impact if I just made it myself. But anyway, that's my <laughs> random spiel about bread this morning. For those of you who are new here, here's my toast, nice and toasty. Here's my egg salad. I'm going to put a hefty bit of scoops on top of the bread. And if you're from TikTok, if you've been checking out my TikTok, you'll know that this is the exact spot where I put my camera for like all of my videos on TikTok. <laughs> I took a look at my to-do list for today, actually for this week, and it's actually one of my less busier weeks, which hallelujah, that I planned it out that way because we're actually going on a little mini vacation by the end of this week and it is to upstate, upstate New York, which is somewhere that we frequently visit because there's this thing called getaway, getaway cabins and they're basically modern tiny cabins that you can rent, not rent, but you can book a trip and it's it's a tiny cabin in the woods and it's what's better than that? Nothing's better than that, at least for me. and. Um, yeah, we go there quite often. You'll see it on my other channel, Pies and Pros. I think I have a video on it, actually. We're going there. And so because we're going on vacation and I have to prep the house and whatnot for that, I graciously gave myself an easy week. So <laughs> I wouldn't be like scrambling on the week right before vacation starts. And I'm not going for long, it's just a weekend. But I'm excited nonetheless. I have not taken any vacation or gone anywhere in a very long time, first of all, but also since we got this house. So I just wanna prep the house and make sure everything is good. We have some people coming to watch the pets, so I wanna make sure the place is clean for them and you know everything is all set in place. I don't know, does that make sense? Today is very simple. I think I'm just doing this video today, uh, recording it, editing it, getting it all set up so that you can watch it right now. <laughs> I'm also gonna fill this up with some water. By the way, a lot of people have been asking me about this cup on Instagram. It is from West Elm. I I made a huge mistake when I ordered these cups. They're really pretty. They're really pretty on camera especially, but I thought they were glasses. I thought they were actual glass, but as you can tell, they are not glass. They are acrylic, which bums me out. <laughs> But, you know, I, I don't want to be wasteful and just get rid of them. So I'm going to keep them for as long as I can handle it. Or maybe I'll sell them or I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But they are acrylic, not glass. But if you are interested in this, I'll put the link in my description box. They are still really pretty and they pretty much look like glass, but they aren't glass. I'm going to fill it up with water now. And here's Logan. Ready to go, have my breakfast. I'll check back in with you a little bit later. Oh wait, how could I forget? Gotta give you the crunch, ready? Hello, I am back getting this kettle ready because I'm still making um, coffee through the French press instead of my espresso machine because I'm just trying to finish out the coffee grounds that I have. The good news is 
is that I'm almost done with it. I don't know how I went through this coffee so fast. I think it helps that I was making coffee for Ian in the morning too, but almost there. And then I could get back to espresso, which I'm excited about. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in any of my previous videos, but this is from Ikea. I'll link it down below. It's pretty large. It, it holds a lot of coffee. Still using macadamia. It is probably my new favorite milk to go into coffee. I'm taking my vitamins. I've fallen off the track for a very long time with my vitamins, but I want to get back into it. So this is from Care Of. I've been using Care Of and I pay for Care Of for a number of years, I would say now. Maybe two years. I love them. This little baggy thing that has individually wrapped um, vitamins is compostable, so I'm gonna put this in my little compost over there and take my vitamins. What really interested me about them from the beginning is that you could take a quiz and then the quiz curates the perfect vitamins for you, so it makes life so much easier. Um, so I'll link them down below. I think I have a code for like 50% off, so don't sleep on that. Gosh, it smells so good. Cup of coffee and another cup of water and my vitamins. Hello again, friends. I did not think that I had any leftovers for today's lunch, but it seems like I do, which I don't mind. It's gonna be a super easy lunch for me, I guess. I have some leftover white rice and I have this Thai curry. It's musselman curry. They use coconut milk for this, which I'm not the hugest fan of coconut milk, but the flavors that they put into this. And by they, I mean the place that I ordered this from, which I can't really recall where I got it from. I'll put it in the description box when I remember. And I don't know the traditional way of eating muscle and curry. The way that I do it is that I heat a bunch of this up and then I add the rice into it. And it ends up being more like a soup because I use so much of the broth. Don't know if that's correct, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It is thick. It'll loosen up once I heat it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It is another day where I'm just really cold. I'm not cold, my hands are cold. And so when, when my hands get cold, they never get warm. It takes forever for them to get warm again. So I'm really happy to have a really hot bowl. Oh my gosh, it's really hot. Really hot bowl of curry that I can sit and warm up to. This is what it looks like. Like I said, very soupy for me. They put tofu into it, so that's the protein in here. It also has potatoes, which I think is traditional, onions, bell peppers, peanuts, and then of course that velvety sauce that I love so much about this curry. I tend to get this curry over the other curries, even though I know the other ones are more popular. Mmm, perfect temperature. Super warm and comforting. And the veggies are still like really nice texture. Even though it's leftovers, it's not soggy at all. I am going to enjoy this super, super warm bowl of curry, and I'll check back in with you a little bit later. Hello, it is dinner time, and it is officially dark enough outside that I have to put all the lights on before even five o'clock. Like, it's five o'clock right now, but it got dark maybe at like 4.30 or something. It's it's like nighttime how dark it is. But anyway, um, I'm going to be making dinner right now. I'm very excited because I'm making something yet again that I have never made before. I have been in such an experimental mode, at least with dinners, as you can probably tell from my other videos. If you haven't seen them, you should check them out. I've been trying out something new every single time. But I have some acorn squash. This is an acorn squash. We've got a teeny one <laughs> and then we have one that's slightly bigger so um i'm going to do a stuffed acorn squash and ian and i will have one squash each which is why i have a teeny one and he has a bigger one because he is larger than me <laughs> and i am going to do sort of like a herbed sausage and cheese filling so obviously this is it's vegan right so i have very exciting. I feel like not many people can get their hands on this. This is the impossible sausage So typically you will see this in like a breakfast sandwich, of course, but I'm going to treat it like sausage in Any other implementation and I'm going to do a sausage filling for the acorn squash I'm going to season it up with thyme. I have fresh thyme from my garden system over there uh, you can't see it, but it's right behind you. And I'm going to season it up with that thyme. I'm going to do some garlic. And then I'm thinking of doing a mix 
of these two cheeses. So we have plant-based mozzarella and plant-based Parmesan. So I think I'm going to incorporate the mozzarella throughout the mixture when I'm cooking the sausage and stuff. And then I'm going to top the acorn squash halves when I cut them in half uh, with the Parmesan so that it's nice and cheesy throughout, but it has a different taste. It's not just one flavor only, if that makes sense. Um, and it should be simple. It is going to take some time because the acorn squash has to be in the oven for a good while, but should be very simple. I'll let you know how this goes. I'm really, really excited about this actually. So this is voiceover Sarah, and by the way, if I sound very strange, I'm sorry, my mic died just as I was about to do this, but anyway, this came out really, really well. The cheese was super ooey gooey. I love good planet cheese, and the sausage was super flavorful, especially with that time. It was like the perfect fall meal. Ian loved it, I loved it, it was just fantastic. So if you made it this far in the video, definitely hit subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next week's video.